peaks of the Sierras are just amazing. And uh, I guess one thing about the way this trail is built that surprised me is just how you go up and over a pass and into a huge valley and you think you you think you know where you're going to come out and every time it, you wind around a corner and go up a totally amazing valley again and up over a pass and it's just i mean it just goes forever i guess the, my biggest surprise is we hiked over 200 miles and we didn't cross a road you know we didn't see a car We, we just crossed over the saddle and came into this beautiful valley with a big green meadow at the bottom and that is where we're planning on setting up camp so uh, we'll get some more footage there but this area is pretty beautiful. All right so day five here we're just about ready to pick the packs up and head on our way so We'll be going over Silver Pass and putting in a good day. Man, we did it. We got here. Yeah. Where? I have no idea. But we're here. How many miles? To... Oh, just a few mere miles. We are at, we climbed 21, 82 feet. 5.9 miles. 5.9. We're at almost six miles. Not bad. We're a third of the way there. Almost. For today. The John Muir Trail has been definitely a bigger challenge than I expected originally when I was talking about it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to hike 200 miles. And I knew that was going to be hard, but I didn't really think about how hard it was going to be day after day. I was fully prepared for, you know, a 16 mile day but I wasn't quite ready to wake up the next morning and do it again and again. And so I think that was the biggest eye-opening part of the trip is just how long 200 miles is and how many days it really takes to put in those miles. We're on our way to Selden Pass. I just uh, put my head under the water to cool off a little bit. There's some crazy water down there. And there's Andy. <laughs> Woohoo! Got it! That feels great. Andy burst my bubble today because we were taking a break and uh, he was making fun of my base layer here and I thought it was because of the nice sweat stains I've got but it wasn't it turns out I have this hole right here as you can see it's about the size of a quarter or a 50 cent piece if you can remember those but uh, hopefully it doesn't get any bigger otherwise I'll be maybe in a little bit of trouble I didn't bring an extra one of these so uh, we'll just hope for the best, but these 20 mile days uh, lead to a little bit of wear and tear. Hi, I'm Chris with Sierra Trading Post and this is Paul with The Outdoor Adventure. Thanks for taking the time to watch these videos about the John Muir Trail. If you're interested in seeing my take on the adventure, why don't you head over to my channel down below here. And to see more of our videos from the trail.